So I know everybody and their grandma has already got a review of the G Pro Wireless up. A lot of people say it's the best mouse ever made. Uh, it's definitely really sweet. I like it. But my review is going to be a little bit different since if you're a weirdo like me, I don't use a keyboard. I use a controller in my left hand. Obviously, I still use a mouse in my right hand. So when you don't use a controller in your left hand, you kind of want a mouse with extra buttons on it to make up for the lack of buttons that your left hand has. I'm going to be specifically reviewing this mouse just for how it works for a keyboard alternative dude like myself. And first I got to say that if you want to know how to set up the controller to use like this, uh, you can map all the different buttons to keyboard buttons. You can make a single controller button, multiple keyboard buttons. I have another video on how to do that. I have videos reviewing different controllers and stuff you can use in your left hand. Video on how I painted that mouse. You want to check that out. I'm going to be making a new video on having this new one right here. Some different colors. And by the way, I picked this mouse up for only $92 with shipping on eBay. Brand new. I'm going to leave a link in the description for eBay. I don't know if you'll find one quite that cheap. There's a lot of good deals. There's open boxes, you know, cheap new ones like that, used ones. So check that out. I get a small commission if you buy anything after clicking on that link. Before I was using the Logitech G402 here, and that's a really great mouse. It's got five extra buttons on the side. If you're like me and play with a really slow sensitivity, uh, you kind of just want your mouse to be as light as possible. And I mean, I got this one down to like, uh, I think 89 grams and I have videos on how to do that. Kind of one main flaw with that is that you use all the buttons with your thumb and that's really boring. I mean, with this mouse, it's really only meant to use two buttons. Like it has these four on the side, but it's just meant for if you're ambidextrous. So like a normal person would only use the buttons with their thumb. But you know, if you're crazy like me, you just, you really need to get some of that hot finger banging action in over here on the right side or on the left side if you're left handed as well. So that's where this mouse just really shines. I wasn't really sure how it would work, I mean, because I didn't know how awkward the buttons over here would be to press, but um, <clears throat> obviously the ones over here you just press normally with your thumb, they're really simple. And it's a little weird at first. I got used to it though. It's you know it's no problem for me. If you're good at fingering. You're really gonna have no problem with this at all. So the button here, the first one, I like to kind of just claw that one up with the tip of my finger like that. And then this one over here, I just kind of squeeze with the back of my finger like that. <clears throat> and that works really well for me. I play Modern Warfare by the way, and I use this first one here with my thumb for interact. This one here is for melee. I use uh, that first one there for the non-lethals. You know, obviously the uh, decoy grenade because that's the coolest weapon in the whole game. Let's definitely use that. And then this one I use for choose kill streak. I have it hold, so I just hold that down and then move the mouse to choose which kill streak I want to use. This mouse is just so light, also and so amazing. So you can get away with using all those buttons, but what makes it really awesome is it's just so light. It just feels great. I mean, compared to, and obviously it's wireless. Like if you haven't used a wireless mouse before, it's just so much nicer. I mean, compared to this one, like it's just a lot shorter. The shape of it too is kind of just a lot smoother. I mean, you could probably use this as a butt plug if you wanted to. And this one comes at with 80 grams, but you can get it even lighter. If you're using all four buttons, you're gonna be limited to how much weight you could take off. But I think you could still get it down to 70 grams easy. You can take a lot off the base of it. So the only negative thing I can see to this mouse is that you know when you're using it since you're just doing such hot finger banging action like your girlfriend's gonna get really jealous and when you're trying to get play a video game she's probably gonna annoy the fuck out of you pretty much all you need to know right there if you want to really get into specifics with the mouse like i said everyone their grandma has already made a review so you can check those out but if you play a keyboard alternative like me you're looking for a lighter mouse with more buttons i would definitely recommend trying this out i don't think you'll regret it you could also try out the uh viper ultimate i think it's called which is pretty much just like this one but with a bit of a different shape i'll probably be buying that one too pretty soon and do a review on that one as well so make sure to you know finger that subscribe button and finger the dislike button